Hello. Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thank you for tuning in and joining me as I explore the wide world of pens. And you see rotating in front of you one of those pens. It was sent to me by Dean. We exchange a few pens here and there. Always nice. And this is a pen I didn't know about. Had no recollection. But it is a brand I have some familiarity with. But before we go into any details, let's give you a writing sample. And then we're going to look at the details of the pen. The crab gives you a wink. So we look at the writing, puts down a nice line. There's a little bit of dry spots here and there, but that's the nib is sensitive to angle, which some stubs can be. But there's a butt. Let's talk about the butt. Before the butt, let's talk about the details of this pen. It's triangular shaped. It's made from wood. And that shape continues on from the barrel to the cap. Nice matte finish on the rings and clip. It's a functional clip. Nice and springy and well formed. I think this wood finish is just very, very nice. Interesting grain. Obviously, it's been preserved by probably soaking it in some type of epoxy or whatever, so I think it's very stable and will last a long time. But the grain certainly does provide some visual entertainment, and it is branded on the cap band there online. It's just a pop-off cap, very secure, and we see a number five nib a nice stub nib and it's also branded and they have pretty interesting feeds and that's one example of their feeds yes it's a little bit off center but it's easy to fix but to me this section is pretty much almost not usable small in every aspect diameter and length and everything else a big step up there to the barrel and I just can't find a place to hold it comfortably. It fits nicely. The length is good. Obviously not something you can post. But this to me is just too tiny and too close to the nib. And if I move up a little bit, I just can't find a comfortable spot to hold. If I go all the way up here away from that ledge, then to me that's too far away from the nib and I lose control in writing, which you may have seen a little bit in the writing sample but that's the big butt I mean I think the nib writes well I really like the uh, ink I've put in it it's one of my new Chinese inks and if we unscrew and that's where it comes apart we'll see just a classic converter a low-end converter here's the pen on the online website it's not inexpensive, but I think for what it is visually and what it's made out of, I think the price is okay. Not great. I mean, you might fall in love with this pen, but to me, it's not something I can write with for any length of time whatsoever. As much as I love the look, the pen is fabulous, but not comfortable to write with. Say no more. As I mentioned, this is not my first online pen. This is my first online pen, which was sent to be my gold spot. And that's branded there by the clip. I just found this pen to have pretty much no redeeming value. You know, they put one of those little ends on so you could use it when your tablets. It has this ink window where you can see the converter. 
in there to pop off also. And we'll see a triangular section made out of some grippy material. Interesting black nib. And we'll see a similar design there to the feed. Not exactly the same, but similar. So two online pens, two not recommended pens. Sorry, I think it's nice what they try to do, and their website is pretty nice, but unless you particularly fall in love with these types of pens and think they're a good value, I don't. This is the ink I put in the pen. It's a nice dark brown ink, so I figured it would go well with that color of the wood. And I put a little label on top because I can't read any of that Chinese there, and it's tried to translate it, it doesn't really mean anything. I did get six inks. Three of them in the brown family. It just so happens that's what, what goes on when you order online. Ink number one, I think, is pretty nice. Two is an uh, interesting green. This one here at the bottom is more of a sea green, blue green, and then your three browns here, light, medium, and, and darker. And I put a heavy-duty drop there at the end of the line to see if there's any sheen or shimmer. And I didn't see any. That's all I'm really going to do on these inks. So I've come to the conclusion of this video. And just so we can make certain there's no confusion. You can see I have trouble with this stub keeping it aligned properly. You know, that's a nice fine line, and it does get wider. It does respond to pressure, but certainly there's no softness or springiness to the nib. Uh, I just can't find a comfortable spot to hold it, so writing becomes a chore, which shouldn't happen in any of your writing instruments. I hope this video finds everyone safe, healthy, and happy, enjoying your pens. May not be this one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a great life. This is the end. I'm going to empty this pen and put it away. Bye. Not bye. Bye. <laughs> yes, dyslexic as I am.